Hey, hey guys, Hope Lord here, and yeah, it's gonna be the weirdest video I've done, but Jobless Reincarnation slash Shoku Tensei, better gonna call it. The cops on the seventh instance might as well lose all these to go fashion because it's been at least a few days on JP and stuff. So I'm going to do a rotation, kind of leave it that. And I forgot this part. I have to parse even on for 30 seconds. So we can at least pull, like, run this Roxy and the Dora. I, I do not even want to say her first name. But, but yeah, we'll pull on them. One copy of each of them is perfect, because I'll probably get Eris at the opposite of the free. I do have my hands on a guaranteed one, we'll, we'll do a 300. If it's on this best, suck, of course. If not, because again, we have a, I think it's the anniversary in like a month or so, so. I'm fine ahead, I guess. And what was that? I mean, what was it? Some here saying combo in here, but I saw him for Goat Auntie last week for Neverus, so I don't get to say much. And I think this is a PC thing. Alright. Let's hope for the best. First one is a dud. I just really hope we get lucky here. This must really be a PC thing. Okay, stick. The scene stick is going to be a loss. Potential? Oh no, I think so here, Sam. That's been years, I can't remember much. Let's just get to the pull here and we'll say. And. Um, we'll skip. Oh, is it? So I, after the second I should probably show off which units I kind of don't need that are on feature. I should have checked mentioned that. Oh boy. Oh, we're getting an SSR. Okay. We can get one of the cloud boosts set for Eris. I am happy. That'd be at least a good start. There are a few like on features I don't need, but a few I can theoretically use. Okay, let's let's play this right. So we're just going for the SSR. So I think we two after the first two. All right. There's the Liz, I mean, there was Hawks, but there's no SSR Lizard Melee, so we're good. Oh, sweet Roxy! That's one down. Let's get the rest. Sweet. So, more. I probably need you to show it off with these characters too, but I didn't even mention that. Yes, yeah, they're they're fine. Like I don't, not game breaking, but they're fine. There's potential later down the line. I do have a human. I don't have no known team, so it just kind of works in my favor. Oh, that was weird. There we go. So run this. Uh, his unique ability is increases the speed success by ten percent per every human ally in the battlefield. When a human ally I use a skill, a magic orb, or some people call it, say, magic falls, depends on how you want to word that one yourself, is applied to him before the skill is activated. When he uses a single target skill, all magic orbs are removed. If he has five magic orbs, using a single target attack has an additional 50% chance of a crit and increases the damage set by 30%. And I believe his holy relic helps him with this a little. Then he has a single target flood, do more damage, higher HP. And then an infest, no healing skills. And his uh, thing gives him orbs, I believe is higher up when he applies on the higher ult level. 
So Eris is for every, mod, for every pickle ally on the battlefield. Those increases those allies attack rate of stats by 10% and increases damage stuff by single target skills by 15%. Her only one remember is for every ball slash orb on Rundus. More damage is, I think it's more damage dealt on the Z. It's only used when she's in battle. No PvP nor demonic beast. Why is that so restrictive, please? So then she has a floods alt, then just and it's cancel sense buffs, it's root buffs, and it's a weird one. But anyway, I don't know. It's I think it's what Tron blue matronas. You have severe, that's fine. Then Roxy, and she does not much one. I mean, Lord's Orb gauge, and Pierce is it's all right, and then. It increases all stats, all stats except it's stats by fair percent for two turns, and then damage to all enemies. I believe it just gets stronger. Her passive applies a barrier near equivalent to 200% of her initial attack to an unknown risk allies at the start of battle. Oh, so then applies the same barrier on unknown risk allies at the start of each ally's turn. Any ally who still has their barrier at the start of the turn will have an attack for the stats increased by 20% for one turn. For Holy Rag, reduces damage by 20%. On those barriers, though it is a buff, so it can get removed. So things like Estherosis, freaking pass commandment, and blue green removes passive would still be. Then the Dora uh, in PvP increases the basic hero stats by seven percent for every unknown race ally. Then marks the enemy with the highest combat class at the start of battle. The mark ally can only attack her. In addition, the hero's damage is increased by 40%. Damage style is increased by 40% when attacking a marked enemy. And the marked enemy's attack really sets are decreased by 30% when they attack the hero. Does not work, does not suck so Kalen's ability, it, it just stays here. And I forget what Hori likes, I think it's more damage as well. It's weird. Thing. Pierce! You know, it's a thing. Cancel stats for one skill, so it'll be useful for. Sans could be worn in the future, so who knows? Let's get into this. So once we get to the furry, I'm going. Once we get to like the one right before the furry, I'll do the roof summon. Okay, just wanted to cover it up for anyone who hasn't played the game. For anyone who has, sorry, I just ran through all those information again. Guess the fight part of me just kind of triggered. But I'm in the middle of checking this. I'm going to attack run. This is holy relic. Let's go. Still, oh, still lost. Okay. Let's go. I mean, we have been lucky, so... Oh, okay. Let's get the information here, so... Increases it... Run this is for every... Increases the hero's attack rate assessed by 5% for every magic orb applied on self. And then, yeah... Aaron's is for every political... Uh, increases the... The political ally stats... Attack, sorry, damage set by 10% for every magic orb on Rundus. And it's red human allies. And then the doors is increasing the hero's single target damage by 20% for every time the hero uses a single target skill up to three times. Okay, and we're getting SSR! Now, if we get Rundus or the Dora, I mean, really happy because that's essential. Means that I'm guaranteed this rotation will be good. And I forgot to sprint in the SSR that I'm missing. Why did I do that twice? It is a pick out. Don't be green, Escanor. I'm 
I've got that man 6-6 six, six for so long now. I've got that man 6-6. Six, six. There's so many other few characters I have 6-6. Six, six. I'm going to just keep going through what I have to figure out. They usually also make rare figure outs. It'd just be nice. Oh, it's gonna be the last one. It's the last one. Alright. I'm still crafting some holy relics and stuff, so... Another Roxy! Okay, that's... So, editor, I get more clips if I get one more dupe of her and stuff, I could... Well, two more dupes. No. Depends how things go. Anyway, I need at least two more dupes of finding Kalop here to the grab one. I spent this a while back, so... We'll go for this, so... Nanashi will be happy with. So, I basically this these six or these five don't need anymore i'm they're six six so nana should be fine i would have with brewhild i think it'd be nice to have merlin would be okay it's merlin's so good all right elat yes because no hulk ragbon cc is always fine yum again there not needed but it'd be nice to have no yum again there could be it could be nice to have yum again there's stoops but, you know, i rather just have the Kalaf characters more. Taking a while to load in. Alright. This feels like a loss. We'll play it through. We will play it through. And if we lost. Okay. I really saw some. Oh. All right. It's fine. Just depends with the colors, what the pull colors are. All right, that's fine. All right, I'll do the Griffin. I'll start from here, but you guys can do your thing. Three, two, one, go. The reason I'm starting here because could be shop, they could not be. It's just a thing. Ah, uh, that might- and it looks to be the latter side. I'm being chopped it. Alright. Oh, that was a full- full run of it. Alright. So please, give me a club character! Green Liz. I don't. That Liz is 6'6. Six, six. I don't need her anymore. Six. I need dupes of her. Uh, let's use the guaranteed ticket. So I have about a 50% chance to give her who I need, who I want. But a 50% chance to not. Let's just hope it lands on the new character, because that we can do full rotation. Okay. We'll play a little damage and play out. Dadora, please. It'd be nice for Dadora.
Let's just see if we get. That's fine. That is Rundus is fine because that's just finish up the rotation and we're good to go. I just need to finish up the rotation now. That it's just finishing the rotation. I'm good to go. Let's go. If we do pull the door, I might just stop. If we pull the door, I'll just stop. I know some people are going to comments like you're you're saying the surname wrong or something like that. I am fully aware. The last. You know, it just means I have, I still have every club carry which I'm happy with. Alright. I'll skip. Okay. Come on. Well, that's what I mean, Simon, you start Roxy as a dupe. So I guess actually there's a little benefit now. The slick spot, but we'll play it out. Just until the attack comes out. You know. Yep, yeah, it's a skip. Alright. I'm not gonna ask the animation in a while, but I don't look at ask the animation. So we keep getting the night setting. Am I really just gonna get shot to get no SSR right up to the 600? It's looking that way. I'll skip. Yeah. Yep. Alright. No. No, it doesn't look like I'm getting an SSR here. I was gonna say, I could have been wrong, but no. Yeah, we'll wait till the pull and then we'll see from there. No lost fan animation, no Escanor. He's not for something, something for some people, right? We'll do this, pack out for a little bit. Then I'm gonna say something, then we'll get back to it. We are getting an SSR. Watch this be Roxy again. You know, just because to the end sequence free six. Alright. Or no, one more dude for the exchange. It's a figure again! It's a free one of those three or free guys. <laughs> Alright. So let's see. Is it? This is it. I don't need Red Merlin. Okay. Can, do it. Can we have what I think people are calling Cat Mummy? I've summoned for Goat Andy. Please let me have Cat Mummy because then it would be a fair. Let's go. It just felt weird now I think about it. 
Eh. Watch me get shot through these five summons and we have to peck her normally. Which is fine. It means, like I said, I'm gonna have a free copy of Eris. Anyway, just, so, you know. Or we just pulled an extra Roxy here, I think. No, no. No spin! I'll have to be working on the Holy Relics at some point. All sort of gears and stuff. Also, I did not pull Roxy of Mod. Berserk Roxy or Roxy Mountains, or how you want to call her. Roxy of Insanity. Counter! This one's early. We'll see what it is and we'll skip. We'll pull there. Gilsley and I. We'll skip the rest. So here's the thing. I'm actually more content here. I'll just stop. Like, I don't think there's any more reason for me to summon that anymore than I need. See if my gem. See if these from Hershey. Nice little start. Yeah, I was just using like five tenths. Anyway, or near rotation. All right, yeah, I'll I'll, I'll be content. Oh, what these have power virtual? Okay, never mind. I need the better costumes. Yeah, we actually pulled some rocks dupe, so. We pulled a dupe. Alright. Oh, now we need to pull an extra copy of her. Oh, that would have been trouble. Alright, let's get this passive unlock. I'll trade them up myself, so. Oh yeah. Really kinda wish they had more of this more like actual storage and stuff. Alright. So never mind, I'm gonna have to use like sixty or sixty diamonds just for 120 just for costumes. Like that's virtual. Oh well. Well, I just think these aren't too hot. Okay, I never really saw the alternative costumes. Anyway, if you summon them this call up on our best on your summons, uh, I'll see you next time. Bye!